Hey, hey, hey! Wellness time, it's Sarah here, and I just wanted to share a couple quick tips because why not? We're on this wellness journey and, well, we need help everywhere we can get, so let's do it. Alright guys, so welcome back. I think this is wellness, like three or four, but who's counting anyway? I wanted to share five quick tips with you to help you get past that feeling of overwhelm, okay? I get it. A wellness journey is is a lot. I mean, you feel like you're overwhelmed, bogged down with just so many things and it doesn't have to be that hard. And it can't be that hard because if it's hard, you're not going to keep going, all right? I know, I know, but this needs to be as easy as humanly possible, especially right from the start. So tip number one, keep it simple, all right? Do not go sign up for a gym membership, empty out your refrigerator, um, buy 700 things of vitamins, and expect to all of a sudden, tomorrow, become this whole new person. That's crap, don't do it. That's too many changes in your life all at once and it's not gonna stick, okay? Um, maybe that does work for some people. I'll never rule that out. But if you're somebody who has already seen struggles in a wellness journey, it's not gonna do it for you, okay? So pump the brakes and small changes will equal big results, okay? Um, I've already said it before, stop drinking maybe the soda, replace it with a club soda, or give yourself a goal to back down. If you drink five sodas a day, only drink three. Pace them out, okay? So, keeping it simple is my number one. Number two, you gotta move, babes. You gotta move. Now, touching on number one there, do not go and get a gym membership on day one and just act like you are about to move mountains not how it's gonna go. If you've already struggled, then you need to start small, okay? Small changes equal big results, and I will keep saying that over and over and over again because it's true. Your girl doesn't tell a lie. Go for a walk, okay? Do, do light cardio. Um, find a workout routine online for free and just do that for a week, okay? If you can't find the time to put in like three active days a week where you're moving for like a half hour, then you're not gonna be able to maintain a gym membership and you're just wasting your money. So start small and build up to bigger changes. Number three, tracking things is important. You are going to start to struggle with keep going, okay? You're gonna want to quit. You're gonna to wanna to push some of the things off and you are going to wanna to eat the things that you are not, I wanna say supposed to eat, but that aren't on your plan. So logging everything is important. I already told you you need to log all your food. If this is the first time you're joining me, you need to start with a food log. Take three days and log every single thing you eat, when you eat it, how you eat it, and how it makes you feel your quantities, your portions, all of that stuff. Because essentially, you're gonna take that food log and turn it into a meal plan because we wanna stay smart, okay? So log everything, log your movement, log your eating, log your, your water intake because that's important too. What that's gonna do is when you are struggling, you can look back and see how far you've come. You can see that you did it, you're doing it. Keep going. All right, tip number four. It's nice and easy. Drink your water, people, okay? Drink your water. Take your body weight, okay? So I weigh 150 pounds. I'm gonna cut that in half, okay? So that is 75. I should be drinking 75 ounces of water a day. Is that attainable? Yes. Are you gonna pee a lot? Hell yeah. I pee all the time. But it's good for you. Here's a little tip, small one. You're gonna like this one, a little bonus. 4.5. Before you sit down to eat a meal, drink a glass of water. Drink a bottle of water. Drink at least 12 ounces of water. Two reasons. Very often,
often you confuse hunger with thirst, okay? A lot. So if you can drink some water and all of a sudden you're feeling fine, you are dehydrated. Your body's craving water, okay? It mimics the signs of hunger. It's just not. So give that a shot. The second reason is that's going to fill you up a little bit. Your mind, your brain, does not compute that you are full till uh, you are full, okay? You've already eaten half of the food and it's making its way down your stomach. You're still eating, you realize you're full, well, all of that food still has to get down there. So when you fill your belly up with a little bit of water prior to your meal, you trick your mind. It actually tells you you're full when you're full so you stop eating. Ooh, now that's a good one. And tip number five, this might be my favorite one. Go easy on yourself. Stop beating yourself up. You are wonderful just the way you are. I know, and I know this, okay? I, I understand 100%. We don't always give ourselves the grace from our outward appearance to the inside of us, okay? There are a lot of stigmas. There are a lot of things that tell us that we are not good unless we look a certain part. That is not freaking true. Give yourself some grace. When you start working on your wellness journey, I want you to remember that this is a marathon, not a sprint. And you need to go easy on yourself. When you make a mistake, so be it. You're a human being. And 80-20 is where I want you to live. What does that mean, Sarah? It means 80% on point. 80% of the time, you are doing exactly what you need to do to get to that goal that you set. And 20% of the time, maybe you're not perfect because none of us are perfect, okay? And we're gonna mess up and what matters is how we, we wrap it up at the end of the day. We don't just throw up our hands and say, screw it, I'm gonna eat all the cupcakes, I'm gonna chow down all the chips, I'm not gonna drink my water and I'm just gonna lay around because I don't think that's gonna help you achieve your goals. You have to give yourself some grace. So you go out to lunch with friends and you don't eat the, the best and you have a couple cocktails. So what? Chalk it up to the 20. And when you get home, you exercise a little bit, you go for a little light walk, you get your mind back where you need to be, okay? Focused on the goals with grace, with love, self-love and self-appreciation that this life is hard enough and the last person that needs to give you any crap about it is you. Okay? That doesn't mean you let yourself slip. Accountability and, and negativity are two different things entirely. So give yourself some grace. So I hope you enjoyed those quick tips. I, I really want you to get on, on this wellness journey and it's time. So we are coming up onto August 1st. I want you to come and do a couple challenges with me. They are nice and easy. They are not going to break you, I promise. But what they're going to do at the end of the month is leave you with just a feeling of accomplishment and that you can do anything. I promise. You can. You are amazing. Shoo. You are amazing. So stay tuned for the next wellness episode because I'm going to lay it all out there for you. Guys, have a great freaking day. Go easy on yourself. Make good choices. Be good people. Peace.